फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पुट दी पेशेंट ऑन टू दी फ्रैक्चर टेबल आफ्टर दैट टेक द इप्सिलेटर लैग इन टू ट्रैक्शन वेलगस इंटरनल और एक्सटर्नल रोटेशन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दी फ्रैक्चर मोस्टली इंटरनल रोटेशन एंड साइमल्टेनियसली चेक ऑन दी सी एम फॉर द रिडक्शन इवन इफ द रिडक्शन इज नॉट देयर जस्ट स्टार्ट विद क्लीनिंग एंड ट्रेपिंग एंड दिस इज द पोजिशन टिल नाउ आफ्टर क्लीनिंग ट्रेपिंग रिड्यूज दी फ्रैक्चर यू कैन रिड्यूज दी फ्रैक्चर विद वट एवर टेक्निक यू लाइक After that, put two K wires in the lateral view. First, check the trajectory in the AP view, and then K wires are put in the lateral view, just abutting the anterior cortex. Right. 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 a humble request from my side uh, most of you are liking my videos but you are not pressing that like button and if you want me to make more such videos because uh, it takes lot of time effort and money to make these videos so if you want me to make more such videos you can just like comment or share so coming back to our video so many of the young orthopedic surgeons struggle putting the kvars and the little bit here i will show how to put it imagine this is a femoral neck and head and if you start your wire anteriorly over the cortex your wire will slip like this and if the starting point of wire is posteriorly then it will go like this and if the starting point is right in the middle then it will go like this here you can see the position of the intramedullary nail so here the wire two will obstruct the path of the nail so the best position of the wire is the second one here first feel the anterior and posterior margin of the lateral cortex with the tip of the k wire and then put your k wire in the third position right in the middle after that take the leg into valgus next entry incision is given over the hip you can check my video on how to make a precise entry incision and entry point then make the entry with the all entry should be medial and at the junction of posterior 1/3 and anterior 2/3 then insert the guide wire if you are using an all after using the all you can insert the guide wire but if you are using a guide wire to make the entry you need to first proximally ream before putting the guide wire and proximal reaming is done till lesser trochanter only here i am putting the guide wire through the cannulated all now proximal reamer is inserted and reamed up to LT in case of long nails medullary reaming is also done after proximally reaming you can remove the k wires which you have put to stabilize the fracture here the most important role of the two k wires which we have put is to maintain the fracture reduction during making the entry and during the proximal reaming and if severe comminution is there you can put a long nail and a trochanteric stabilization plate can also be considered if there is too much lateral wall comminution now if the lateral wall is broken you can consider indian nail with screw heads the advantage here is that the screw heads will compress the lateral wall fragment against the nail and even if the lateral wall is not there the screw heads will themselves act as a lateral wall after that insert the nail and remove the guide wire then loose the traction after that insert the neck screw by the jig and it should be preferably in the lower half avoid upper half and then distal locking is done that should be always in the static mode before putting the next screw take the leg into valgus so that the screw doesn't go it in the upper half here i have not removed the k wires because the lateral valve was comminuted 
आई होप यू लाइक दी वीडियो एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन कमेंट इन दी कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू